Hello and welcome to another video from Miniature Tanks Company. In this video, we will be assembling the Japanese little car. It's called in English, I pronounce it as Kurogane, I guess. But I looked it up and I think Japanese, it's Krogane. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we're going to be assembling this little car. It comes in these little pieces. That's the main part of the body. And then here's all these tires and the little axle and such. So the first step of this is to, before I say that, this and many other miniatures are available at miniaturetanks.com. All right, so the first step for the assembly of this is to cut away at the sprues. Now, depending on the scale of the vehicle that you're getting, this may be an intricate process. I'm working with a 15 millimeter scale so, for example, if you ordered the 28 millimeter scale, the largest scale, may be a easier process. But nevertheless, start to cut away. Oh, and especially if you buy that little tiniest scale, the 20, uh, 12 millimeter scale, then the parts are really small. You may have to use a magnifying glass or something to get that, but really tiny. Be careful and just remove the sprue pieces, cut away those sprue, the sprue pieces from these bumpers. All right, so the sprue pieces are cut away from the bumpers. There's the two halves or whatever, sides of the main part of the car. Now what's next is to cut away the wheels, the tires, just cut away like this, one step at a time. Um, cutting away. All right, almost done for the cutting away process. All right, there you go. These clippers are available at miniaturetanks.com as well. I try to keep them in stock. They work well for this process. All right, so. That is accomplished. Now let's uh, clear off the surface here a bit. Now, this is an optional step. You can take these little tires and sand down the areas that had the sprue marks. So now let's go ahead and begin the gluing process. So I think the most obvious and main step is to glue the two halves of this little car together. So the first step is I'll take the front section. The reason why I'm doing the front is because then I know where to put the glue. So I'm using the Loctite glue. It works well for these models. But any modeling type glue should do for this process. So take the car like this, put it together. Yeah, be very careful making sure that it goes down well. Right, I think that went down well, it's not budging now. So be careful with Loctite glue to make sure that it's going down in the exact spot that you wish it to go. But yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so that's the first part of that. Let's go ahead and glue together the little axle. Just make sure that the sprue pieces are... Um, anyways, so you can see here, the, the angle that the axle should be going. So for example, I'm putting the axle in like this, it's not going in as nicely. So you will feel which it should be going this angle, be glued in this way. All right, so for that, all we have to do is just put a tiny bit of glue, just like that, tiny bit of glue, just to, Double check again, make sure that our angle is correct. There you go. Well, I put a tiny bit of glue, so sometimes it doesn't hold if it's not a lot of glue. But it doesn't have to be a lot of glue. Just press firmly and it should be good. All right, so there is that step of the vehicle. Before I glue on the bumpers, let's go ahead and glue on the little tires. So the first step is I'm gonna, I, I put on a, a lot of, yeah, it's not a lot of, but 
you don't have to put tons of glue on these little teeny parts. Now this, just try to put the wheel where the axle's going in the, the center. And honestly, it looks like where that is, is just where the wheel well touches. So that's pretty easy. All right, so then go like this. Make sure the wheel's going in where the axle is in the center. Double check. All right, there you go. Now do the front. All right. Make sure that the wheel's going in where the axle's in the center of the wheel, like that. All right, so I've noticed a mistake. I ended up not putting enough glue there. So just put a good amount of glue for this axle. We'll try that again. There you go. It's a pretty tiny model. Can be a little delicate. All right, last wheel. Put that there and then just place it where the wheel well is. The wheel tire is touching the wheel well. Just double check, make sure it's all four tires are touching the surface. Put some little glue on the back there and then make sure that this spare tire is going down in the middle or in the center of this back area. That's pretty much the center. All right, so we are almost done this little model. So this little bumper goes on the back, I believe, like that. And then this goes in the front, like that. So let's go ahead and put the back bumper on. You see where I'm putting a, a bit of glue right there and right there. Now this part, this part I definitely need these tweezers. I'm going to try to do this successfully here. Carefully put in the back bumper like that. Carefully. All right, so once you have the back bumper in the position that you wish for, uh, you may wish to actually go ahead and just an extra bit of glue to hold, hold it down, to weld it down, kind of. All right, now let's go ahead and let's put on the front bumper. All right, there's the glue for the front. Now let's try to get these tweezers in the correct position. There you go. All right, so with that front bumper, just make sure it goes down correctly and uh, look at the front, make sure it's aligned with the vehicle. So there we have it, the finished little Japanese car. Thank you so much for watching. This is available at miniaturetanks.com.